and Sawadee Krap, and welcome to Phuket Extra Extra, where we take a look at the top five stories of the week. And this week, the headlines have been dominated about the police raid on the brothel on Ratchadapisek Road, where police officers, immigration officials, and more have been implicated in bribes to keeping the brothel open. Let's take a look at the rest of the top five. Today marks the 70th anniversary of His Majesty the King of Thailand's ascension to the throne. Ceremonies around the country are taking place to honor the King of Thailand, as well as the sixth birth cycle of the Queen of Thailand as she turns 84 on August 12th, which is a big deal in the Thai Buddhism calendar. US President Barack Obama and UK's Queen Elizabeth are among the many dignitaries around the world who have sent their congratulatory messages to King Rama IX on this auspicious day. In addition, today we'll also see the new 70 baht notes available for public consumption. You can pick up yours at any bank and post office. The ceremony is set to take place here at Surin Beach. More on that a little later. A third snake attack on an unsuspecting man on a toilet is leaving many to wonder if this is becoming an epidemic. A cobra bit the bottom of a man in Prachuap as he was sitting on the toilet, but when police were called in, he asked them to take him to the local monk. The abbot of Wat Nong Hoi temple is apparently known for curing snake bites and the monk used a needle filled with an herbal remedy to take out the black venom from the man's rear end. According to reports, the man was feeling much better within a half hour, though it's not known if the cobra was fished out from the home. And 18 people remain in the hospital following yesterday afternoon's deadly speedboat collision between Ko Dok Mai and Ko Pi Pi in the waters east of Phuket. The collision claimed the life of two Chinese tourists and the Phuket News reports that the two speedboats had been carrying a combined 50 Chinese and Korean tourists. The incident happened at noon yesterday and leaving one man and one woman to have died at the scene as dozens of others were sent to hospitals around Phuket town and Rasada for treatment. An investigation is currently underway. And a breaking story out of Junk Salong as the biggest shopping mall in Patong has certain parts of it closed because pylons underneath the mall have collapsed. An investigation into what happened is currently underway at Junk Salong and the mall authorities have already closed off certain sections of the mall, but it's still open for business in a lot of other areas. The Port Arena outdoor area is closed, as is the underground That Siam retail shopping area near the car park. For more on this story, visit thepuketnews.com. And anti-corruption officials will not be heading up the investigation into bribes that were paid to state officials from a Bangkok massage parlor that operated as a brothel. Instead, state agencies whose officials are connected to the bribes will each conduct their own investigation, including police and immigration officers. Earlier this week, over 100 officers raided a popular brothel on Ratchadapisek Road in Bangkok, detaining over 120 female sex workers, some of whom were underage, and some others were victims of human trafficking, in addition to finding a little black book detailing kickbacks. The little black book showed the brothel had been paying state officials a total of over 300,000 baht a month in kickbacks and bribes, with some picking up close to 80,000 baht a month. Well, that's it for all of us here on Phuket Extra Extra. Catch us on Phuket Extra on Monday, where we'll catch you up with all the latest news that you missed over the weekend. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Sawadee We are ready to provide international medical service with warm Thai hospitality. Call us at 1719.